Hi, and welcome to this presentation of the TouchGFX Designer 4.17. I have a new installation of the Designer uh, right here, so let me go ahead and open it up. The first thing you'll notice is that there is a, a welcome uh, greeting uh, message here. I'll say OK to that. Then you'll be prompted to choose your color theme, so the new Designer will uh, support both dark and light mode. So uh, you can choose it here or you can choose it later. Uh, I'll just go with the light mode for now. Now we see the so-called lobby where we can create new applications or load old ones. So as this is a new installation, I do not have any recent projects. Here we see the kind of actions I can take. So I can create one based on a uh, TouchDFX board setup uh, project so I can select uh, one of these boards if I have uh, any uh, uh, evaluation kits from ST. I can also choose to create an example. Here I see the list of all the exam examples we have. I can select one of those and I can actually select a board setup for that as well. So if I just use it as it is here I will uh, have the example created for me using the simulator. If I want a, a specific SD board, I can uh, cl click this select board setup and, and pick one there. I can also select demos, and here I see a list of official demos. Um, I can create it as is, or I can select a specific board. Uh, so if I go and choose a specific board, I will see the demos that has the right resolution and thus are compatible with this selected board. I can also uh, have a look at our board specific demos, which are demos that utilizes uh, part of a specific board. So that demo will only run on, on that particular board, of course. But let me uh, create a new project based on the simulator and a blank UI. Okay, so here we see the canvas of my uh, screen number one. As uh, in all the other uh, TouchDFX versions, I have my property uh, list on the right and my screen tree view on the left. The widget menu is placed up here and is now a drop down menu where you see the different categories of widgets uh, in the designer. It has a search bar here as well, so you can do fuzzy search uh, on widgets and easily add them. Okay, let me get rid of uh, this one and uh, we'll insert a box instead. So the box is just a single color uh, widget for you. We have the properties of the box over here. Now the properties will have a pop-up window, a lot of them will, so that you have the exact setup or, or advanced setup of your widgets in here. Uh, I can select a, a color and when I'm done, I'll press here and I have it uh, selected here. Interactions are kind of the same. So if I add a button, uh, I can see the, all the screens interactions over here it's empty of course but i can add one again it's a pop-up here for more better overview um, so i can add just as in all uh, the previous uh, designers add uh, events here and when i'm done i have a one single uh, element here and i can add a new one and so on so a better overview than in the old one where you uh, where you expanded things uh, all the interactions here which could be a bit confusing another thing to notice is that now elements in the tree view has some properties here you can lock them you can toggle visibility and actually you can uh, you have a menu here to do various uh, things has to the same as a right-click menu. 
Same goes for the screen, where you ha have uh, several options. Uh, there's a new one here called Edit Source Files, which if we had generated the code, we would be able to open the source file in the in the in your s associated uh, editor for CPP and HPP files. For building your project from the designer, you have the three well-known uh, options here. So you can generate code, run uh, uh, your application in the simulator, and if you have selected a board for your application, you could run uh, on target by pressing this one. Still have the log file um, here, so you can see what goes on when you compile. It can be uh, docked and undocked. <coughs> For showing the image and text tab, I want to have a more complex uh, example to show you. So pressing the X up here will take me back to the lobby. And let me create a demo. I'll select this demo two and create a new instance of that. So that will open a new window of the designer. So I'll have two designers opened uh, as one, my old application and this new example. <coughs> so it's here. This demo is a rather big application. So it has a lot of screens, a lot of images and quite a lot of, of texts as well. Um, yeah, so if you go to the image tab, you'll see a, a, a tree view here. You can hide it if you want and extend it here. You have all the images here. You can have previews. If you click it, you will open a, a the associated uh, program you have for editing PNGs. Um, you can see the dimensions. You can set a lot of things here. So the image format. Uh, if you want, you can change the dither algorithm and uh, the rotation and so on. As a new feature, you can do multiple select and uh, update them all in one go. For the text uh, view, you have uh, single use, you have resources, you have typographies, just as in the old version. You can do all the same uh, things that you could before. But now the overview of it all should be a bit better. If you want to change color theme, it's in the file menu. The dark theme is, uh, yeah, of course, much uh, darker and for some of our users, uh, much more pleasant to look at uh, if you're using the designer uh, for a long time. Configuration of your application is down here. It has all the usual uh, tabs. If you want to open your file of the project in an explorer, you can press the file button down here. Well, that concludes my fast run through of the new designer 4.17. There's a lot of small uh, changes uh, here and there uh, that we hope that you will enjoy. So thank you for listening in and hope that you will have fun using the new designer.